to continue on this point of stopping brainwashing and tying this point together with the haters that are lately seen on YouTube there's one thing one has to look at and that is whenever one is faced with new information new material new knowledge a problem exists a barrier exists because one always face new material new points new information through the glasses of one's old information through the filters of one's already determined mind so if I look at the haters if one is not coming from for instance a perspective that says everything that is not of the Christian church is a cult or a perspective that says the solution must come from an atheist person or organization or a perspective that says I don't know no solution is possible so if someone actually present a solution that is viable it must be a cult so if someone is not coming from such perspectives meaning if someone is not merely blinded by their own belief systems by their own consciousness filter through which they look at new information and new material then I can only conclude that the interpretation which is in fact a misinterpretation and a misrepresentation of the destiny material is done deliberately if it is not to defend and let's say protect one's own beliefs or one's own group say the Christian church or the idea of atheism or the belief that anyone coming forth with a solution must be evil because the world which is the new world order which is the old world order is only presenting us with evil solutions thus far so if one is not busy defending such beliefs then what is it is it merely spitefulness is it jealousy perhaps these people would enjoy being part of a group that works together and works on finding practical solutions that will embrace the whole of everything that is here on earth the ecosystem that includes all living things perhaps the haters would like to have come up with such cool proposal themselves but they didn't so why spite the ones that did come up with such brilliant solution to the world I mean obviously equal money is not the solution but given the situation of the world and given the fabric that we have accepted and allowed to move in direct existence as it is currently no solution can be real and can offer practical actual substantial solutions if it's not taking on the money system and therefore equal money for all from birth to death is the first step towards a actual solution for this world we have discussed this um, extensively from all kinds of perspectives 
uh, and have explained how such new system of equality based on the value of life will assist mankind collectively and individually to transcend the human nature that has become evil which is greed, jealousy, spitefulness, fear and everything that separates man from each other. So I would suggest to all haters and in fact everyone that is coming across destiny for the first time to take into consideration that the material presented at destiny is new. It is new from the perspective that it will turn your world around. It will confront you with everything that you've known because what we've done and what we are doing is taking everything that exists and questioning it questioning its practical application from the starting point of equality and oneness of life meaning does this point support life or is this point harming life and if so who actually benefits it is suggested that you first of all become aware of the beliefs and belief systems that have formed you, that have informed you, that have told you who you are and what the world is. And in fact, the first thing that we do at Destiny is individually take responsibility to investigate and recognize what it is that has created me what beliefs, what ideas, what fears, what desires have I adopted or created or accepted or allowed throughout my life and why? And the answer to the question why is if one dare an answer that will give the key to self-honesty, will give the key to man know thyself. The why we have accepted and adopted, the particular specific belief systems, fears, desires that we have and call our own, will show us the inner patterns, the inner acceptances, the inner self-definitions that we have not yet seen of ourselves, the hidden driving force, so to speak, the motives that have caused us to follow the one path or the other, to regard the one thing as good and the other as bad. Where is that all coming from? And can we not see that as long as we are pointing fingers and want the others to be the bad guys while we are always the good guys and everyone thinks that of themselves, uh, how can we ever come together? How can we ever live and coexist in a way that is best for all? Impossible. And uh, this shows that we at Destiny are in fact debunking cultism, any and all cultism. And what we are busy creating what we are busy doing is establishing a culture of life, giving life back the value that we have thrown away and sacrificed in the name of false values as beliefs, desires, fears, personal interests, 
greed, the desire for profit and power, and the incredible indifference and arrogance towards life that exists in this world. We at Destiny say no more and that is why we're here and anyone is able to join us, anyone is able to study what we do and how. The tools are here for free use for anyone. Change begins within self. It is futile to point fingers when one is not taking self-responsibility, when one is not coming forth with solutions for the individual and the collective equally.